Let's get you prepared for your day. We are dealing with the potential for some strong to severe storms. We have all the ingredients for it. We are just waiting on really the timeline of these things to come together. We do have the moisture, we do have the heat, and we do see a slight risk for some of these storms throwing out damaging winds, potentially some downpours, hail, and frequent lightning. So plan accordingly. This does fire up just past the noon hour and mostly on our northwestern corner of the state. So as you pick up those kids from school, they may need some extra gear. An 18 year old is in the hospital this morning after a triple shooting in South Baltimore. Alexis Avila joins us now live with what we know. Alexis. Yeah, well, two of the victims are expected to be OK. However, the third victim is an 18 year old who is in serious condition, critical condition in the hospital. But this particular shooting ended up being not too far away from the mass shooting that happened back in July, where two people were killed and 20 others were hurt. This triple shooting happened yesterday afternoon around 430 near Fifth Street and Patapsco Avenue. Three men were shot, two 18 year olds and a 23 year old. All three were taken to the hospital, but as I said, the 18 year old is being treated for serious injuries. Now tonight there will be a meeting at six o'clock at Baybrook Elementary and Middle School where city leaders will be able to talk to the public about the violence in the Brooklyn community. Reporting live, I'm Alexis Davila for WJZ. A massive fire ripped through several homes in southeast Baltimore last night. Amy Kawada joins us now in studio to tell us more. Amy? Yeah, Tim, so, you know, you can see right here in this video a viewer sent in just how vicious that blade was, sparking electrical wiring nearby and also sending a thick cloud of black smoke over the city skyline. Now, this happened just after five last night. Baltimore City Fire Department officials says crews were called to the 300 block of Robinson Street and found heavy flames behind a two story row home. The rapidly spreading fire consumed as many as six row homes in Highland Town, which is right near Patterson Park. Thankfully, officials confirm no one was hurt and the cause of this fire remains under investigation. Back to you, Sina. Former Baltimore Mayor Sheila Dixon is hinting she could launch another run for the mayor's office in 2024. She posted this to her Instagram, teasing a big announcement this morning at 11. Dixon left office in 2010 after being convicted of embezzling gift cards. Bruce Springsteen is canceling this weekend's performance at Camden Yards and the rest of his concerts for the month. Springsteen is getting treatment for peptic ulcer disease. 